Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and I'm in the process of making several videos on building a pool shed. It has a hip roof. Um, I'm going to make a video today showing you how to make a hip rafter. There's several videos on the internet that show you how to do this, so I'm not going to get that in depth. But basically what I did is I went to a website called blockbuilder.com. I'll put it in the description. And it gave me free plans in a PDF format that I could print out for my plans for my shed. And, uh, you know, when doing a hip, you can get plans like that. Or what you can do is you can use your framing square and you can take the rafter layout. It's a little hard to see on this thing. And, uh... You can calculate yourself how long your framing rafter should be. I already know for my plans. So now we're going to start with the uh, hip rafter. Starting on the end of the board, what you want to do is take your speed square, line it right up on that top corner. Now, you have two scales. You have your common rafters and your hip and valley rafters. If you pivot this way, the seven on this scale lined up with this edge is for hip and valley and that's the pitch of my roof, 712. If you don't have a speed square, you can do it with a framing square as well. So the hip rafter has a different run. I'm putting the tongue of the square on seven right there and the outside of the square right on 17 and that gives me the exact same plumb cut so you can do it with a framing square if you don't have a speed square the next step you want to make a parallel line three quarters of an inch from your plumb line so we mark that and then we go another three quarters of an inch and mark that we want to make two parallel lines so we set that up, we make sure we're reading seven on our hip and valley, and we get both of these marked. Looking good. Now the reason you need these three lines is because this rafter is going to come to a point, and the middle line is actually your point. Your point is basically going to be something like that. Okay, so now all you have to do is cut it. You guys came out of frame, but your rafter is going to come to a point here. So right here and right here will be the point that joins up to your ridge board. So it's going to look something like that. So that center line right there is the tip of that point. We're ready to cut. First cut you want to make is going to be your outside plumb line cut. I got my saw. Saw should be set at 45. And make sure you're cutting on the 45 on the table. And You want to cut the outside first, otherwise you're going to lose your lines. My next cut is going to be the inside line. That cut there is called a cheek cut. Here's a close up look at the cheek cut. It's a compound cut because this is 67 degrees here and then you have both cheeks that are going to meet up with your rafter and looking at it from the top there's a point there and it kind of goes downhill. So you want to cut that first and now take your measurements right from that tip and the next thing we're going to lay out is the bird's mouth. Now we want to measure from the very tip of our cheek cut. And we're going to come down 7 foot 9 inches. And 
in your case it's going to be different because you know any different size building they're going to be different so like i said you're going to have to use a rafter table or you can go to that blockbuilder.com and figure out your measurements i've measured down i've marked where my bird's mouth is going to go and this is my rafter tail which you guys need to calculate on your own so now i'm just going to extend these lines down this is the end of the rafter tail so we'll just make that straight there and for the bird's mouth you need to go to your hip and valley and once again you got to set it at seven because i'm doing a seven twelve pitch and then for my bird's mouth i'm just coming up from the bottom seven eighths of an inch marking it and then I'm cutting my bird's mouth just using my speed square just like that next we're gonna make another plumb line from here we're gonna pivot this thing to seven so from there to seven and then line, slide it down till it lines up with the bottom here for your rafter tail here Okay, so I'm right at seven. And You'll notice this line is not parallel because I used the wrong scale. I corrected it by using the hip and valley scale. This plum cut marks our rafter tail, but because it's going to stick out the corner of the building, it needs to be cut at 45 degrees so your fascia can attach to it. So what we're going to do to get it 45 degrees is go 3 quarters of an inch to the right and 3 quarters of an inch to the left. And we're going to draw two parallel lines. Make sure you use your hip and valley scale so I just sanded this thing off because I used the common rafter 7 all right now the center line is going to be our 45 and now I'll show you how to cut this the tip of this 45 should be right on that center line we're ready to cut at 45 degrees you got to cut the outside line first or you're going to lose your reference lines so with the saw set at 45 on the back side of the board this one has to be on the back using your 45 degree scale cut that then you're going to come forward and cut the front line 45 degrees again. We're now going to set the table on our saw to zero. Lock it in place and we'll cut our bird's mouth. You may have to touch up the bird's mouth with a saw. Here's a look at the rafter tail. 45 degrees with the bird's mouth. And then the front has a nice cheek cut as well. This is the little pool shed that I'm building. It has the hip roof. I have several videos on this build.
Well, things are coming together real well. I just have to nail in that last hip rafter. And I wanted to let you guys know, um, I went through, I got some anchor sleeves, uh, four inch anchor bolts, about half inch. Drilled them out with my hammer drill and set all the corners. Because uh, as I said, my concrete guy had the uh, J bolts in the wrong spot. So that's all fixed. These walls are super solid. And things are going well. I should be able to get a lot done today. So I'm Double Wide 6. I'm going to put some links in the description to the uh, Block Builder website. And I'll also link some of the tools that I used in this project. If you're not a subscriber, please think about subscribing. And if you're interested in building a shed, I have several videos in this series on building this pool shed. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.